heard about the Washington Women's Art Center after I just returned from Thailand, where I'd been living for five years, the wife of a foreign service officer. I'd been painting there on my own um, and involved in what arts there were, but I felt very isolated. I came back and was busy renovating a home. I had a year and a half old daughter, and I just thought I need some connection with the uh, art community. And I saw on a bulletin board at American University uh, an advertisement for the art seminar that was being run at the Washington Women's Art Center. So I showed up, went to the art seminar, and got very involved after that in the Women's Center. The 13 Answer show that we had after that seminar was great. I made best friends of my life during that whole process and that time at the Women's Center, people who are still dear friends to me. After the 13 Answer show, I stayed involved. I was assistant director of exhibitions for a year. I learned so much in that experience. A lot of what I'd learned during the seminar, and then, of course, I, we were putting it all in place. The second year, I was director of exhibitions. That year, we got a grant from the NEA. Because we got a grant for all our shows, we had a show a month, juried show, we had a catalog for every single show, which was paid for by the NEA. We invited in guest artists to jury the shows. Exhibits were just very successful. I think the membership during that period, it just rose tremendously. Um, I was also on the board for uh, several years, certainly that year and afterward, and was very involved in all of the activities, and it was just such an important step for me in becoming a professional it's artist. an important step for me because I began showing through the Women's Center, not when I was running exhibitions, I didn't show that year, but I met so many people in the art community here and in New York and various places. Through the Women's Center, I also heard about group exhibitions and things like that, and I showed in that way and learned how to be a professional artist and become more involved. And I showed over the years in group shows, two-person shows, and eventually I had several uh, one-woman shows in Georgetown and in DuPont Circle. And none of that would have happened if I hadn't had the experience and gained such just trust in myself and, and self-confidence to continue on with my work and to present my work. Also during that same period, I began teaching. And it was, again, all rolled up because of the beginning I got at the Women's Center. Looking back at the Women's Center, how it influenced me for where I am today, I um, have been a consistent artists painting regularly. I mean, I was amazed when I had to go back and just find 10 paintings to um, offer for this exhibit. I just started digging through the garage, rolled up paintings. I was amazed how many paintings I had, how much work I'd actually done. Um, so that made me realize how, you know, that's been the real focus of my life is the painting and exhibiting and through my teaching, I taught art. I had seminars in my own studio. Just, but it all began because of the influence of the Women's Center 